Good morning. So welcome to day three of this Alexandria Baltimore work trip. <laughs> so something I forgot to mention yesterday was I did meet a very wonderful woman at the Murphy's um, restaurant. So she was also a single traveler. So the waitress had sat us in tables right next to each other and I didn't know she was a traveler so I asked if she had been here before because I was debating between two things. And um, she said, no, this was her first time in Virginia. <laughs> so we just kind of chit-chatted throughout the dinner. Um, great interaction. She is originally from Guam, but lives in Vegas now and lived in London and has a uncle in Petoskey in Michigan. So it was cool. Just um, you know, get to know someone and she builds, you know, like um, stages and things for conferences and conventions and trade shows. So it was really cool to hear. So. Yeah, definitely don't be afraid to just talk to a stranger, you know, safely. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was uh, great to get to know her. So today is another conference day. It's the last day of this main conference. And then, you know, we got a couple free days and then we'll go over to Baltimore for the other conference. So not a lot to show today. I will show you dinner, which I plan on going to TJ Stone's. It's supposed to be kind of rainy and gross here today. So we'll see how that ends up. It's not raining right now, which is good. So we might be able to walk to the convention center if not they do have a shuttle so we'll see um i probably should stop into the grocery today too there's a grocery store really close to the hotel which is nice i did bring up my toothbrush <laughs> the hotel gave me one i'm feeling kind of flimsy so i don't think i want to use that for this whole week and then i'd also like to get a loofah i was like oh i can just use washcloths but i really hate using a washcloth and my travel loofah died at the end of our cruise great timing because it was actually as i was packing up that last day, but so I like to get a new small travel loop. All right, well, we'll talk to you guys later. All right, we're heading to dinner. We're going to TJ Stone's, which I have like no sense of direction. <laughs> so hopefully, we go the right way. We'll see. Sure, there is a lot of dogs in this town. And like nobody has a yard so everybody's walking their dogs. So it's kinda cool to see dogs everywhere. Especially when you're missing your dog. Lots of planes. More dogs. Hi, ladies. Hi. Have you seen Hassan yet? Okay. Got the pretzel bites. Is that cheese? That's a lot of cheese. Yeah, go ahead and try it. It's good. I got the pulled pork, coleslaw, and fries. Hassan got the steak, Brussels sprouts. It looks like smothered fries. Very nice. Alright, so all done at TJ Stone. We had a really good time. Um, so a bunch of us from the conference were there. 
sorry <laughs> to the waiters and the bartenders i'm sure they were so annoying um but they did great they were good folks there um so i had the oatmeal stout beer which was pretty good um i thought it'd be a little bit sweeter than it was but it wasn't strong at all so not too bad and i had the pretzel bites with the beer cheese which were really good. Um, that beer cheese does have a bit of spice in it, so if you're spice averse, you probably want to stay away from that because it is spicier than you would think. Um, one of my colleagues had some, and he was like, "Oh, that is spicy." So, um, and I, I'm not super sensitive to spice, so it doesn't bother me. Um, but I know, I know some others would have trouble with that. And then I had the pulled pork with the coleslaw and the French fries. Coleslaw wasn't my favorite. But the french fries were real good. The pulled pork was good. I did the, I think the Kentucky bourbon um, barbecue sauce because you can pick like four different, four or five different barbecue sauce to go on there. And that's what I chose. And then later on, someone bought lemon drop shots. <laughs> so it was a good night. Great conversations. Um, you know, met some new folks and it was, it was a good time. So back to the hotel safe. Um, so that was it for today. So future me will give you the resource for today and We will see you tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna actually probably go To breakfast at Ted's Bulletin which is the place I went to um, Before I was vlogging when I came to DC for a training one time and it was really good So I'm looking forward to actually not having the hotel buffet even though it's free here, but Yeah, I'm looking forward to something different and then we have a bunch of museums to go to and then the Tokyo Underground for today. All right, so we have a busy day tomorrow, so we'll see you then. Thanks. All right, future Melissa here with the resource for today's video. So this is actually a resource that was shared with us at the conference. They were one of the sponsors of it. Um, it is called Single Care. So Single Care is a prescription discount card that is free for anyone, insured, uninsured, you show the card and you get the best price at the pharmacy. Covers all FDA approved prescriptions, accepted at most um, pharmacies, especially the big chain ones. There is an app, here is a QR code, but you can also, or you can text 700700 and the word save to also get access to the app. And there is the card. This used to be called Family Wise and they changed their name to Single Care. So if you're familiar with Family Wise, it is the same program. Um, I think it's probably a little bit more robust now and has a new name. But yeah, well, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys, please subscribe and like and follow for more of this adventure.